Hi there, it's Tonya Reeves coming at you from Sunday Creek, Victoria, Australia's psychic cowgirl. I still haven't quite had the ideal weather to be out with the horse. Today it's really sunny outside and really glary, in fact. Uh, we're enjoying a, a really warm start to summer, so that's been, that's been pretty cool because we've been getting outside and doing things, but everything's really dried off out here now. So we're going into, um, I suppose, our, our bushfire season coming up. So something that we become a bit mindful of with the dry grass and things that are around. Um, also note that, that sharing these videos is what gets you to be able to ring in and get a reading from us. So don't forget to do that. So share away because we really love connecting with you all. And we try and get through to as many as we can. Um, there's there's heaps of readers here tonight and as in most of the nights now. So there's a few extras. So that would be that would be great. Um, so sharing is caring. So don't forget to do that. <laughs> okay. So who's feeling the energy? Uh, we've just swapped over now energetically and I know I was really feeling it like really a little bit stalled, a little bit like things that had started to get into motion felt like we were treading water there for a little while and uh, I shared a post on my um, Facebook page, Australia Psychic Cowgirl, on this because I had so many people um, contacting me and I was doing readings and connecting for them and going, oh, we're all feeling a bit the same. So then I read something this morning about how the the end of the retrogrades come today. So here in Australia, it's already the 6th, so we're like going woohoo over, you know, in the States and that, it'll be tomorrow for you. So. Yeah, so yeah, so bear that in mind. So there's a big shift happening because I know for a lot of us it's been a, a bit of a trying time. So again, we're rehashing over what needs to be let go of this year because we're coming to that end of the year vibration and we're getting ready for the Christmas, the celebration. For some, it's you know, the celebration is marred by the loss of family and friends around them that that um you know are no longer with us. But knowing that they're here in spirit is really lovely. We often have a candle on the table, um, or we will on Christmas Day for us, of you know the, those that have passed. And, and we've all sort of lost mothers around here. So we have all our candles there, you know, to represent them. And even though they're not here physically, we know that energetically they are around. So it's nice to do your little ritual. And I encourage you to do the same. So anything that, brings you closer to that person. It might be, you know, to hang a piece of their clothing around, you know, um, when you're celebrating. So you feel like there's part of them that's included. So don't forget you can do things like that. And that really encourages spirit, I find, the more we connect with their little uh, little memories and things that uh, help us to remember them because, you know, memories are amazing and we all have those. And it's great to be able to sit down and, and go over those memories and remember that person for who they were and uh, what they brought, you know, into our lives. So, you know, for most of us can be mums and dads and, you know, really close family that we're really, really missing. Um, so, yeah, I think it's, it's a great way to be able to connect and, you know, get sorted. Now, remember that we can't necessarily see the live feed. So for those that, that put in that they want a reading, when we're on air, we can't actually – visibly see you actively so um just be aware of that when you post you know i want a reading um share and then get your name down to for us to ring you because we really do want to connect and especially around this time of year it does get uh, fairly busy with people wanting to reconnect it might be you know with a medium with someone that's passed or just can be some direction going into the new year that's a pretty common one we're heading into 2019 with a bang for a lot of people, which is pretty exciting. And for a, a lot of others, there's a lot of peace around. So there's um, certainly people that are feeling that um, sense of calm and, you know, just feeling like they're going to enjoy having some, some time out and a bit of a break. I don't know about you, but I've even found a recent um, just disconnecting off things has been really helpful for me and taking time out to notice things. So uh, in the work that I do as a psychic medium, we like to 
look for signs, but also to be aware of our surroundings. So we really need to fine tune and sometimes clear our energy. And I say to people, even if you're not a medium, going for a walk somewhere and noticing things like looking at the trees, looking at the ground, looking at people around you and just being an observer. And this helps us stay present and in the now, which I think is really important when we get caught up into things being quite busy. So this time of year, just remember, get outside. I know for some people the weather's not so great, but I always love to, even in winter, rug up, put jackets on and just get out in the air, you know, even if it's freezing. But for for everyone, it's a little bit different. But I just highly recommend that getting back into Mother Nature. There's so much there that uh, we can learn from. That's a whole nother story. Anyway, I'm going to go on to my first caller. And I have Ama in Toronto, Canada. Hi. I've got the name right. How you going? Yeah. Good, good. How are you? Did, good. Did I spell your name right? Yeah, I'll you're fine. Your name right. You got it. <laughs> cool. Is that shortened from something? What's around your name or are you named after somebody? No, no, it's that, that's the name. Okay. All right. Because I'm being shown your name. Who came up with your name? Is that your mother? I'm just getting... I'm sorry, say that again. Was it your mum that came up with your name? No, it was my dad. Okay. Who's in spirit then for you? Because I felt like I wanted to go towards mum. Sorry, there's a slight delay, I think, in the in the connection. Hello? Hello. Sorry, I think there's a bit of a delay yeah. in our connection. Oh, I can hear you now. Ah. Fine. Sorry. Oh, good. Yeah, you sound good on this end too. Now, is your mu- mum in spirit? No. No, she's alive. Okay. So is it your dad in spirit? No. No. Okay. There's a lady coming through in spirit, but I wanted to, I felt like she had some connection to your name. So I don't know whether, did your dad come up with your name and it's something from his family or someone like going back to your grandmother on his side? I don't think so. No. Okay. Because I just feel like this lady's stepping in and she just made me point out your name. All right. Is, is her name an A name as well? I don't know. All I know is you <laughs> came up with the name. <laughs> okay. It's just some connection. Okay, so I've got a grandmother coming in for you. Um, now, first of all, we're just connecting with you. I feel like you're in a period of almost like um, re- oh, how can I put this? Um, a little bit like I was saying before, where you're at a bit of a standstill, but there's, there's things that almost still need releasing. And I want to say towards the end of this year, ready to step you into next year. Okay. Okay. Because it's almost like I want to say things happen for a reason. So I feel like I want to go back to, um, you know, over the last six months, things that have happened that maybe you thought, oh, um, you know, I really wish that didn't happen or it didn't turn out that way. But it's like you're now getting shown the reasons behind that. Okay. Okay. Okay, because there's a lot of, I want to get to a little bit of excitement for you next year. So are you shifting and changing in something that you're doing? I'm actually at a crossroad right now, so I'm trying to decide what is my next move in life. So if you can help in that department, that would be great. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) And it's almost like that's why you've been pulled up a little bit at the moment because it's time for you to reflect and get insights. And I want to say, um, because they're showing me dare to be different. You've got an idea that's different that you want Mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. And they're telling me, I'm getting green light with that. Go for it. (laughs) That's a winner. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, there's there's insights. Have you been having insights around that? Like almost feel like you've you've kind of um, got, this has come to you and now you just sort of, getting a few more ideas to how you can put this into place? Well, I'm, I'm pondering about, like, moving um, for a job overseas. Yeah. So I'm not sure about that. So 
Yeah, yeah. You you are definitely moving. Like next year is transition for you. So I, I see you like it's like changing things up and it's almost like you I have to say like at the moment it's like they're saying just take the moment to take a breath because next year is going to be quite a whirlwind and there will be that that movement and you're grabbing onto things differently so it's almost like I wanted to say you've changed the way you think of things or the you're being mindful of what you're thinking because you're being more open to things right yeah and that's good that's good and it's like you guided this grandmother that came through she's a strong lady she's a hard worker and it's like you've done the same thing you've done stuff over and over and it's time to mix it up and there's been, um, she's showing me, there was something that happened to you that made you make a decision on looking at going overseas, yeah? Well, I guess I'm looking at change of careers. That's, that's kind of where I'm heading right now. Yeah. But what was it that happened that made you really reassess where you are now? There was something, I feel like I want to go to this year, something happened and you went, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of done here. I'm, I've had this realisation. Well, I my, my last job, I worked at a homeless shelter, and that was really traumatic for me. And it basically really evaluates um, my career path. So yeah. I'm looking into something that is less traumatic, you know, that where I don't have to take the energy of other people on, which I tend to do yeah. because I'm an empath. Yeah, so. I was going to say that. Yeah, absolutely. And mm-hmm. it's it, it's a hard thing when you, you're dealing with people in trauma and that kind of thing because it's it's constantly around you, isn't it, to to um, to tap into. So there's a there's yeah. a lot. It's almost like for you next year, it is a renewed sense of happiness as well. So I want to go with the deepening of a connection. So are you in a relationship at the moment? No, <laughs> I no. hope to okay. <laughs> Do you see anything? Well, yeah, I see because I'm like going. I don't want to say this in case she's got, she's in a relationship, but yeah, there's some new there's a, a new connection happening for you next year, and it's almost like you're being drawn to move away and change things up so that you can uh-huh. meet this uh-huh. other person. Wow. Okay. And, and and I want to say they'll be sensitive as well. <laughs> You'll have that oh, in common. Beautiful. Yeah. So somebody yeah. new, which is nobody from the past. Nah, you've, you've, you've been shown the past, so it's like they're showing me done. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's like new. Yeah. 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 But, but I, I feel like in saying that, you can relate to this year showing you, it's almost like you've been guided, I want to say, to do this and you've been guided to shift away from those that aren't in alignment with you. And... The way mm-hmm. Spirit's showing me that is like you've had signs and you've just gone, that's not for me and, and I'm not going to I'm not gonna be in that situation anymore. So I feel like whether your last relationship, you weren't number one, you were kind of down the line a bit and you finally said, you know what, I'm not being disregarded like that. There's something about you not being, you're not being revered for who you are. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, so oh, keep letting oh, go of the stuff I have to say too. Keep. Keep letting go of all the things that no longer serve you because you, you know, you've done a bit of it, but there's a few, a bit more to go. I'm working on it. <laughs> saying you're doing a good job, so I feel like over the years you've collected a lot of stuff, but you, you have, you've done made a good road in. <laughs> mhm, mhm, absolutely, yeah. So, for sure. yeah. So, w- well done. So, I think for you, um, a parting message with all that is. Honouring who you are is going to be really important for you next year and trust that you are guided. And I get that through spirit, that you you are well guided, you're given the signs and you're here for a reason and it's like you haven't quite found it in the past but you will next year. It's almost mm-hmm. like I want to say everything, things will fall into place with the shift, with the change in work and then the relationship will come. So it's kind of like it'll, it'll all just transpire as it needs to. So... Just trust the process. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Keep me posted. I'd love to hear. (laughs) All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ama. Much love to you. Bye. 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 
Okay, I've got my next caller, Mickey in San Francisco. Yay. Mickey, well, how are you? Up, but that's okay. Good, how are you? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> really good. I'm excited connecting to your energy. Let me see. Oh, you've got some new stuff happening for you too. Let me see. I'm just yeah. connecting in. Whoa, and it's exciting stuff. So you stand, you're stepping into your power and I feel like I want to say to you, feel the fear and do it anyway. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like nothing of value is discovered in staying in your comfort zone. So for you, it's like just get out there, girl. It's like you've got the goods. So it's almost like you've been preparing for this for a long time and now it's time to own it and step up into it. Yes, that's correct. Yes. And yep, and it's all um, it's almost like mm-hmm. you there's been a few speed humps this year, almost like where you stopped, um, had a little bit more of um learning or, or development and then you've you've restarted back again. But it's like I wanna say from now you're exactly you you've done everything in preparation. So there's no more preparation needed. It's just a case of you trusting that you can do this. Okay, and I have a relationship question. Um, I yep. am very far away, twin flame. Yeah. What do you see about him? He's in the UK. Okay. Okay. Um, so let me see what they're showing me. Um, have you been in contact with him for, let me see, is it a couple of years now or 18 months? No, it's a few months, but we... We are not contacting each other right now verbally, yep. but telepathically, yeah. Yeah. Um, it is like he's around you and, you know, we can often get a twin flame. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a, a sign that it's going to be into a relationship or something full on. You definitely have a connection. I feel like there's something a little bit past life around him as well. That's what Spirit's showing me. Um, but... I do feel for you, it's like he's been brought in to show you what you can have and I don't necessarily feel like he's going to be the one that that will be the soul connection that's next in line for you, but it's like he's there to show you that energy. So when that next person steps in, you know, you you instantly can feel that energy. Oh, okay. Right, because it's like, um, there's a few things that um, if you look at it between you and him, there's a few, like you have that soul connection, but there's a lot of differences in, in who you both are and, and kind of like I want to say you're from two different worlds. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, but it will transition as it needs to and I feel like you'll always be interconnected. I don't feel like that will that will um, totally disappear. Yeah. You'll be kind of drawn to each other, but you'll, it's almost like you're you've connected to help each other along. Yeah, at least will we stay friends? Because that's an important yeah, thing. Yeah, too. yeah, We're so close. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But he he is brought in to show you to show you what that feels like, so that you, when somebody else steps in, you will know. So then, basically, it's not going to be him. That's the bottom line. Uh, no, I don't feel, yeah. I feel like I'm connecting with your energy with him and I do feel like he's there for a reason and he will play a part, he'll be part of, you know, that connection. But I don't feel as in the two of you necessarily, you know, um, being together long term or connecting up. I've just, I feel like there's something where he's here to show you the bigger picture and there's someone else that's going to step in. Uh-huh. And I want to, they're, tell, they're telling me February, so I don't know what's going on in February, but it's like I want to go to February, so that's 2019. Not that far away when you think about it. No, no. Well, February, but what about February? Well, it's like I'm showing that's when someone's going to step in. <laughs> I'm oh. laughing as I'm telling you that because I feel like you're going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Next, year, yeah, next absolutely. year's going to 
yeah, next year's going to be like pretty um, pivotal for you, I want to say, because it's like we, we're saying yes to a lot of things, a lot of new things, and that's where I'm feeling uh, there's a wonderful new idea around you. There's stepping into something new that almost is like um, to bring in a change. And that's where this relationship, uh-huh. this new relationship will step in. But I do want you to take time with, say, med- with your meditation to connect in what you have with this, this chap in the UK, that soul connection. There's, there's a, an essence to tapping into that that will help bring the next one along. Oh. Okay. And mm-hmm. time is flies. Since it has been a little bad, is there any improvement yeah, there's something that needs to change a little bit. Um, what it, I want to go to um, what's been dwindling the finances because it's showing me over the last, I want to go to 18 months, has has something been restricted or have you not been bringing in as much money just over that time? Right. But, yeah, I've, I've not brought up as much. I lost a few contracts. I'm yeah, yeah. And I haven't been able to gain new ones. Yeah. So ne- next year the energy is going to shift and I'll, I I want to say there will be new contracts, but you need to change something. Okay. What are they showing me? All right. Um, there's something around. So when you – I know there's not as many contracts around. They're showing me like there's not as many that – was there, you know, years gone by, but it's something around when, do you tender for the contracts? Like you write something, I feel like there's something written down. Um, most of the time, yeah. Yeah, something in that process. What, what, I'll, what I'm drawn to is you need somebody with fresh eyes to look at that and swap something around that will bring in, it's like a, a new energy to what you're putting putting forward. And it's not that they're going to change it much, but something around wording or the documentation that will be more appealing. So it needs a vamping up. Mm. Mm. Because, you know, sometimes when we put a little bit more energy to something and then we kind of say to the universe, all right, we're ready to step up, there's, there's more to come. And you just, you're stalled at the moment. It's like, um, there's a little bit of sidetracking going on around it, so I feel like your your focus isn't fully on that. So it's a little bit like it's been pulled back a bit, but next year is going to change with that because you like to be independent and you like to have to be able to get cool things, I want to say. Yeah, absolutely, and I love to be freelance yeah. even in the whole instability yeah. of it. That's right, because yeah. yeah. you can do it standing on your head and you're very good at it, Mickey, so don't. Um, I actually want to say put your prices up. Say that again, I'm sorry. I actually wanted to say to you, put your prices up. Oh, okay, okay. I, I know it's. I know it sounds weird, but you know sometimes people, when you're buying for something, if you're down the bottom end where the cheaper end, you're, you can be disregarded and some. I just feel like in some cases it's like if we lift your pricing up, you will get the stronger contracts of the, um, how can I put it, um, bigger companies or, you know, like, like better contacts. Interesting, because I was thinking of reducing my pricing to be more accessible. <laughs> okay. But no. Well, I get no. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay. So I mean, you just... laugh too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, even if you say, like, just try it, even if you want to hold them for the minute, but get we need fresh eyes to come and have a look at that. They're going to change something and give you a few tips, and that will make the difference. Okay. All Very right. Good. So don't, yeah, next year will be, honestly, things will pick up. And I feel like the economy is picking up or there's some aspect where, you're starting to see a bit more work around, whereas it, at the last few years it hasn't been. So I don't know if that makes sense in your industry, but that's what they're showing me. Mm-hmm. Do you see a trip in April? Okay. 
Um, yes, but it's not where you're thinking. <laughs> So keep keep the destination open because it's like, yes, travel's important to you and having a break. You're going to need a break by April because you're going to be busy next year. So definitely a trip, but be open to there's something around an opportunity where it's not quite where you're thinking, but it will be better. So it's not Japan? <laughs> Is that where you've been looking? No. That's where I've been looking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't feel it's miles away from that, but I feel like wherever you're looking, go a little bit further. I, I want to go east, and I don't even know that whether that's sea or whatever, but, yeah, there's, there's somewhere around that, but it isn't where you're thinking. So just keep that in mind because I feel like oh. a deal is going to come up and you'll go, that's a really good deal, and I don't really know that place really well, but you know what? I'm going there. Well, a little further is Australia, which I've been trying to get to for years. <laughs> Well, there you go. It's awesome out here. You'd love it. April's not too bad either. <laughs> so keep it open. All, that's all they're telling me is just tell her to keep it open because there's something will transpire. And I must go because my producer's like going to go, get me off the air. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, Nikki, thank you so much. It's been so good to connect thank with you. And please you. keep thank me posted. You. I love to hear how you go. Tell me again Take what's your name? Tonya. Tonya Reeves. I'm Australia's psychic cowgirl and I'm based here in Australia. So there's a sign for you. <laughs> Tonya Reeves? Yep. Reeves. R-E-E-V-E-S. Australian <laughs> English is the one that I understand the least. <laughs> <laughs> Tonya, Tonya Reeves. R-A-Y-S. Now, R-E-E-V-E-S. If you go back to this recording, you'll see my name at the bottom and you can look me up. Okay. Okay, right. I must go. I would love Much to love record. to you. Yes. Much love to yeah, you. you can Thank you. Bye-bye. My pleasure. Bye-bye. Okay, I've got to roll before I get kicked off physically. <laughs> Thanks for a great week of readings and show. And I'll see you same time, same place next week. Woohoo!